my people it is wednesday wisdom hope you are taking care of yourself practicing self-care doing all that is needed to make sure you are keeping uh, your union with the holy spirit intact okay I, I wanted to chat with you today about the forgiveness process i think it was last week sunday sunday night um, on my TikTok live, I talked about the forgiveness process. And um, that is a process that the Holy Spirit gave to me. Okay. Um, probably not something you're going to see in a book, um, unless it's my book. <laughs> but just right off the cuff, the Holy Spirit gave that to me because what I'm finding as chosen ones, as those that are the called out ones, as those that um, uh, love being um, in communion with the Holy Spirit, love uh, having their frequency high, their vibration high. Uh, there are times when there is a struggle with forgiving those that have hurt us, okay? And I can safely say, uh, with surety in my heart, there's not anyone in my entire life that I have not forgiven. I haven't always been that way, but the Holy Spirit gave me this process some time ago. And one thing that I understood is that you can be chosen, but still struggle in certain areas. So as I was sitting uh, with the Spirit and in my communion and meditation time, this is what the Holy Spirit gave me. I find that when uh, we are trying to forgive, and, and this is something I said on my TikTok um, video, you can't uh, just say, I forgive you because that's what society expects or that's what people expect. Or, you know, we, we hear a lot of times people will commit heinous crimes and the first thing out of a person's mouth is, oh, I, f I forgive you. Well, this is the thing. You can say something out of your mouth that your heart is not in agreement with. Because forgiveness is like grief. It takes a process for you to work through, okay? And typically, you just don't forgive people like that because you first have to get to a point where that offense does not still hold you, okay? So <clears throat> the first step, and it's only three steps, simple process to the forgiveness process that the Holy Spirit shared with me is to release the offense. As a chosen one, nothing anyone does to you can remove you from your spiritual position. I'm going to say that again. Nothing that anyone does to you, says about you, uh, the way they come against you. They can even, you know, uh, gather other people against you, but it does not change your spiritual position. So the first step is to release the offense because nothing anyone does can harm you. Now, when I say nothing anyone does can harm you, I am speaking from the spiritual perspective. Your position cannot be changed by untruths. Your position cannot be changed by lies. Your position cannot be changed by people trying to paint you one way, but you really are another way. You do not lose any spiritual ground. What happens is when we, we hear what an individual does, let's say they talked about us, we begin to connect with the untruths that they said, and it makes us angry because in our mind, we say that's not true. That's not true. But, but, and we hate that they say it, but what we're not realizing is when you become angry, you come into agreement that what that person said is true. I want to help a few people today because if you know it's not true, there's no need to get angry. If you know who you are, when something is said and it's untrue, there's no need to get angry. You can stay in your space of unconditional love as a chosen one. Okay, so the first step is to release the offense. All right, release the offense. The second step is releasing the offender. And the way you do this is you look, and the second step kind of has a sub step. The sub step is 
Look at where that person is consciously. Look at their level of maturity. Look at what they have been exposed to. You need to take all of that in consideration when you look at how they treated you. A lot of times people mistreat you because they don't love themselves. They have not come to grips with who they are. You understand? They have not come to grips with what their purpose is in this earth plane. All right. They are still battling those traumas. All right. They're still attached to those people that are pulling on them and that are draining them. You just happen to be the target. OK, because they don't have the boldness to come against those people that are attacking them and mishandling them. So they come against you, even though you are treating them in, in a better way. You are treating them with respect. You're loving on them no matter what they do. And they do have an expectation that you're going to always be there until you're not there anymore. OK, so what you do is the sub step is look at their level of consciousness. When you look at that and you see they have all this going on, there will be no way they will be able to treat you well. They don't treat themselves well. They have all types of toxic people around them. They're nursing all types of trauma and insecurities and all of those things that they have not filtered through their system, through their spiritual system, okay? And then your heart begins to open with compassion toward them and even more love. It's difficult to remain angry with someone that simply has not learned to tap into love for themselves. Self-love is very powerful, but when you understand self-love, it helps you to love others. So the second step is releasing the offender by looking at the level of consciousness, their level of maturity. Look at their background, okay? They can't treat you well. They can't love you unconditionally if they don't treat themselves well and love themselves unconditionally. The third step is letting go of the offense and the offender. But it's difficult to do if you don't start the process at releasing the offense. You don't start with releasing the offender because the offense came from the offender. You start with the offense. It makes it easier when you get to the third step of letting go of the offense because my position spiritually has not changed no matter what has been said or done to me. Releasing the offender, I am aware of the level of consciousness that, that this individual is at, and all I have is unconditional love for them. I have no um, I have no unforgiveness in my heart toward them. No bitterness, no anger. I'm not mad when I see them and going in a different direction. I'm not avoiding them. Now they might be avoiding you and me. But we're not avoiding them because we don't have anything to avoid them for. Especially when we've been honorable toward them. Okay? And it doesn't mean you're perfect toward them, but you've been honorable toward them. You've shown yourself to be loyal. You've shown yourself to be loving. You've shown yourself to be a person that will be there for them. They just were not in the space to really handle that. Because of the lack of love they have for themselves, lack of healing they, they have, and also just not having filtered through a lot of the traumas, a lot of the bad relationships. People, they, a lot of times people are used to being abandoned. They're used to being rejected. And they get, they're thinking you're going to do the same thing. All right? And they're hoping if they continue that behavior toward you, you'll run after them. But the chosen ones don't run after people. We don't have to. We allow our light to shine and, and we attract into our lives those things that are in alignment with us. So I hope I've helped you chosen ones today in regards to forgiveness with the forgiveness process that the Holy Spirit has shared with me is something that we can do and you don't have to remain 
uh, in a space of unforgiveness toward anyone. You can flow toward all people with unconditional love. In my life, I've had some things done to me. But as I said at the beginning of this video, I have a surety in my heart. Nothing flows from my heart but unconditional love. And even if someone does something to me after I do this video, <laughs> I'm going to look at my process, okay? Let me release the offense because nothing they did hurt my spiritual position. I'm still ascending. I'm still going higher. I'm still in communion with the Holy Spirit. Let me release this offender because I'm looking at where they are. And they can't love me if they're not loving themselves. And let me just let go of both the offense and the offender. And I keep myself at a place of peace, at a place of unconditional love, at a place of compassion, at a place of nurturing, at a place where I stand as a spiritual warrior in an earth plane that needs my light. I stand in my divine feminine wheel, my divine feminine spot, and I allow myself to continue to ascend in the earth that the glory of the light and, and the, of the Holy Spirit is shown uh, throughout through my life and through the things that I do, through how I treat people, through how I handle people. Okay, listen, I love you but I want you to love yourself more than me and I will see you next time. Toodles.